intercepts on the coordinate axis now what's a coordinate axis let's say this is a circle and this is our coordinates now this circle is cutting across x axis at two points let's say a and b so let the equation of the circle be x square plus y square plus 2gx plus 2fy plus c equal to 0 it means x axis at let's say at x comma 0 and b x2 comma 0 x1 comma 0 and x2 comma 0 now a b is the intercept made by the circle on x axis now remember uh, all the points or the set of all points on ab have y equal to 0 so which means x square plus 2g x plus c equal to 0 which is a quadratic equation in x and x1 and x2 will be the zeros or roots of the quadratic equation graphically itself we know this is so x1 x2 are the zeros the points at which y becomes a zero now x1 plus x2 would be equal to what the sum of the roots of a quadratic equation is minus b by a and the product of the roots is c by a sum of the roots and product of the roots so here what would it be minus 2g by 1 and x1 x2 would be c by a so c by 1 what we need is a b that is the length or the distance between a and b so a b is nothing but x2 minus x1 now this is the tricky part x2 minus x1 can be written as x1 plus x2 square minus 4x1 x2 now how did that come let's see x1 minus x2 square let's take this um, this is equal to x1 square plus x2 square minus 2x1 x2 right now this x1 x2 x1 square plus x2 square can be written as let's see x1 plus x2 square is equal to x1 square plus x2 square uh, plus 2x1 x2 now if you bring this to the other side it becomes x1 plus x2 square minus 2x1 x2 equal to x1 square plus x2 square so if we do the substitution what will happen x1 minus x2 square is equal to now instead of x1 square plus x2 square we write it as x1 plus x2 square minus 2x1 x2 and minus 2x1 x2 and this would become x1 plus x2 square minus 4x1 x2 okay now that we have this it's pretty straightforward now x1 plus x2 is what sum of the roots is minus 2g square minus 4 product is c 4 
g square minus 4c take 4 common out so it becomes 2 g square minus c that is ab now if the circle intercepts y axis then in that case ab would be let's say this is a this is b ab would be 2 square root of f square minus c x axis intercepts and y axis intercepts now it might happen that the circle touches the x axis at only one point so in such a case what would happen a b would be equal to zero that means a and b are at the same point so circle touches the axis at only one point so what will happen in that case 2 f square minus c equal to 0 2 g square minus c equal to 0 and this is in case of x axis and this is in case of y axis so f square minus c equal to 0 f square minus c equal to 0 f square equal to c same way g square minus c equal to 0 g square minus c equal to 0 g square equal to c now what if the circle touches both the axes at only one point so for the circle to touch both the axes at only one point implies g square equal to f square equal to c so here in um, in in these cases x axis or and or the y axis are the tangents to the circle okay so that is intercepts on the coordinate axis by for now.